In today's episode, we are going to go over five of my favorite Visual Studio Code themes. So just so you know, I prefer dark themes. So if you're looking for light themes, this is probably not the video for you. But also at the end, I'm going to throw in a bonus, which is probably the world's worst theme. It is literally titled as Burn Your Eyes in 15 Seconds. So let's jump straight into this episode. So if you are new to Visual Studio Code, I'm just going to show you really quick how to actually install an extension. And there's a little tab over here where you can get extensions and you can just search in the top here. You can see I was already searching something here. You can just search in here, say material theme. And you'll get options. You can view it. Usually it'll have a preview of things. You can just hit install and it will install and activate that theme straight away. So it's not that complicated. So this is any, one of the themes I've picked for this video, but just to make sure you're able to install the themes as well. If you have been watching my videos for any time now, you will have probably seen this theme because I have been using this for months and months now. So with Synthwave 84, we get a lovely a glowing code effect. So it's a Synthwave inspired color team to satisfy your neon dreams. So I don't always have the neon activated in my videos, but I'll show you how you actually activate that as well. So it's not enabled by default because it's an experimental theme. So you might get a warning pop up when you enable it saying, your installation is corrupt. You can just ignore that. I've never had any problems, but you can see here the code looks awesome, especially look, it's glowing code. It really stands out and it's pretty easy on the eyes as well. So just to activate that glowing effect, you need to actually type in command shift P or control shift P to open up your preferences. And you can just say enable neon dreams. And when you enable that, so you have to restart your editor as it's saying here to refresh and it will pop open like this. And here is the warning I was telling you about. You don't really have to worry about it. Again, I haven't had any issues and you can also just use it without that neon glow, which I use most of the time and it doesn't give you any warning. This is another high color, high contrast theme and it is called the cyberpunk theme. So, it comes with a few different variations, which makes this really cool, or as they call them, protocols. And just to be warned, this is probably the craziest out of all of the five themes I suggest, other than the last one, which is just absolutely haywire. Um, so I really like this because of how the terminal looks here. It's just a pretty sweet look that it gives because, because of the neon green style. But... The JavaScript looks a bit muted in my opinion. So that's the only reason I don't use it as my daily driver, really. So if I change this to a different protocol, so we'll say Command Shift P, pick the color teams. We can say Cyberpunk. Uh, if I go Cyberpunk, or no, it's protocols, isn't it? Protocol. Yeah. So activate Scarlet Protocol. And as you can see here, we have the same blue colors and things, but all of the backgrounds change now. So we have a much higher contrast, which is pretty cool. And we also have, I think it's called an Umbra. So let's pick the colored theme here and pick the Umbra theme. So it's slightly different or slightly darker than the first theme, but it does definitely add a little bit more contrast. So I'd be much more likely to use this one than the very first or the default one anyway. But, you know, it's awesome. This is one theme, but you get three different options of what way you want it. So the next theme is Andromeda. And Andromeda is a dark theme with a taste of the universe. So I'm guessing it's meant to be a universe feeling theme, but what I really like about this theme is it's pretty warm. As far as dark themes go, it's very warm, like the oranges and uh, yellows there. It's not too in your face. So it's definitely much more mellow than the last two themes I have used. And 
yeah, I, I could really get used to using this one. It's just the the colors are neutral enough, but again, against a very dark background or but not quite black either. So yeah, the developers did an awesome job here getting really nice contrasts in place. So I think all the languages, CSS, in uh, HTML, you know, all the really good programming languages have such good looks in here. The next team is one I used to use, probably the most used one I had used up to using Synthwave, and it is by my Canadian man crush, West Boss, who is always putting out awesome content. And this theme is just like all of his other stuff, really high quality. As you can see, he has really done some great work here at making an awesome looking theme. Everything looks fantastic in here. And he's really gone above and beyond and making sure and testing this with so many different languages to make sure it just looks fantastic no matter what you're coding in. So yeah, I would definitely check this one out. I'm a big fan of that little yellow border on the terminal as well. And even for my container plugin here, it looks awesome. So yeah, Westboss has done an awesome job on this one. The last theme before I burn your eyes, as promised, is the hopscotch theme. So the Hopscotch team is based on the learning platform for kids. So it's based on this side. So as you can imagine, it's full of colors as well. I guess you're starting to see a theme here. I like a little bit of color in my themes. So as you can see here, we have some pretty neutral backgrounds, but a touch of purple, which I always like, and then some bright pinks and greens and yellows. So yeah, I, this one looks fantastic. They also have a couple of variations on this one. So you can, again, just like we were earlier looking for different versions of the protocols for the cyberpunk or cyberpunk, what was it? Cyber, I'm forgetting the name of it already. Yeah, cyberpunk theme. So you could have a couple options. You can go the Hopscotch Classic, which will give it closer to the normal Visual Studio Code theme. So yeah, play around with the different themes here because there are a couple different options for fonts as well with this one. But yeah, I'm a real big fan of this one. It's a little bit more muted as well. So if you're looking for something super easy on the eyes, it's probably going to be Andromeda or Hopscotch. But if you want something a little bit more colorful, then look, one of the other options is definitely going to be good for you too. Now for the world's worst theme, and I apologize for your eyes in advance, and that is the hot dog stand. So there is a little story to this. I'll go over that in a second, but let's just set it so you can see how mental this is. So let's set the color theme. Yeah, so this is definitely... <laughs> This always actually hurts my eyes for a little while after I use it. This is definitely the most accessible and user-friendly colors that you should be using in all your websites. No, this one is absolutely outrageous. So I would say this would be a good punishment if like when your colleagues forgets to lock their laptops before they leave the room, you know, like you should always lock your laptops for security reasons. So this is a nice punishment that you could give one of your colleagues. Um, the story behind this is it's based on a tribute to the Windows 3.1 hot dog stand color theme. So it's to mimic this here. Um, when you look up the theme, it will have a link to this article if you want to read it as well. But holy shit, this is a horrible thing to look at. So yeah, I'm going to try and turn this off. Uh, oof. Let's put it back to normal Visual Studio Code is much nicer than that. Um, I hope you found one of the themes you liked in this bundle. Hopefully it's not the hot dog stand. But if you did and or if you have any suggestions for me, please throw them in the comments below because I'd love to know what ones I missed. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. 
And until next time, happy coding. Thank you.